Saturday Social is powered by FIFA 22 with PlayStation. This is Ask Casper. We teed it up on Sky Sports social media accounts, giving you at home the chance to ask this man absolutely anything. Casper, we had thousands and thousands of questions, so I've picked the best ones. Are you ready to do this? I'm ready, mate. I'm OK, ready. first up, how did you find the Euros on the whole? On the whole, look back at it now, we're, you know, an amazing experience. Uh, uh, one hell of a roller coaster. Uh, every kind of emotion possible. Um, but to be honest, with the with the, year, the years we've had, the last 18 months, what it did for our country, uh, the way it unified the country, the way we kind of stood together in, in difficult moments and, and in joyous moments, uh, you know, is what it was exactly what we needed, uh, I think. And um, yeah, just really, really proud of, of of the way we handled the, the yeah the whole situation as a country. And I think. Uh, Looking back now, only only very good memories. You mentioned difficult moments there. Of course, the Christian Eriksen incident was just such a horrible moment for the whole of football to watch. You you were there. How difficult was that? And looking back on that, is it something that you've spoken to him about recently? Are you in regular contact with him? Yeah, I think we're all just grateful that Christian's here, so we keep in contact with him. Yeah, it was it was a moment of helplessness. You couldn't do anything. There's nothing we could do. Uh, you know, we were in the same boat as as the whole country. People in the stadium. You know, we were just. Uh, to be fair, I, I was watching in awe our doctors how they how they handled it, yeah. how they were able to keep calm under pressure, under incredible scrutiny, and uh, to be able to handle it the way they did was yeah, it's amazing. I mean, we can we can play football and we can do things on the pitch, but to do what they did that yeah. that's uh, that's unbelievable. Yeah, well said. Uh, next one, a lot of people asking this one: Who is the toughest striker you've ever come up against? Uh, there's many, many, many tough strikers. Um, I mean, obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo, I think, it, it, you know, I've, I've, I haven't had the, the pleasure of playing against Messi yet. Um, so, Ronaldo's got to be one of them. Lukaku, Harry Kane. Um, you can't single one out. No, nah, I wouldn't be able to no. single one they're all, out. They're all so good, and you, you, just the three I've mentioned yeah. are so different in so many ways, but all, you know, incredible athletes and, and incredible goal scorers in, in their own right, but there's, there's so many I can name. Do you relish those opportunities as a goalkeeper coming up against them? Would you think, oh, I'm in for a busy day here no, today? No, no, you, you want to play against the best. I, I want to play against the best every single day, you know. That's, uh, that's the whole reason you play football. Yeah. And um, yeah, as a goalkeeper, I think you just, you want to test yourself against the best all the time. Okay, they're the three. Three good picks there, I think. I don't think anyone can argue with that. Next up, bit of a light-hearted one, this. Uh, does Mark Albrighton get annoyed that Jamie Vardy constantly calls him Kevin? I don't think people listen to Vards anymore. <laughs> don't they? What no. not? <laughs> it's just constant, isn't it? Is, it, is, just he, is he like that all the time? I think you just tone it out sometimes. <laughs> no, yeah. I think, to be fair, Mark Albrighton, Sharky, uh, Kark, uh, Kevin. I think he's, he's got a few nicknames. He's got so he? many nicknames, you yeah. know, and, and uh, he takes in really good spirits. Um, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. I think. Uh, He's, uh, he's luckily a guy with, with a, a great sense of humour and yeah. uh, I think he, uh, he takes it really well. Because that actually came from a shoot I did with, with Jamie. We, I revealed to him that, that Michael Brighton's middle name was Kevin, but I didn't realise that two years later he'd still be giving him the Kevin nickname. So I feel a bit bad that he's still, still giving it. Mark Albrighton. It is Mark Albrighton, yes, correct. Kevin! <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> and you, you say Jamie there, you, you sort of sort of half listen to him. Is he like it all the time then? Because we had a lot of questions about who's the joker at Leicester. Would you give Jamie Vardy no. the joker tag? You wouldn't? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? When well, the cameras are there. Well, the, oh, really? <laughs> no, no the, to be fair, the, I think the joker, the funniest one would have to be uh, Johnny Evans for me. Yeah, a few people Johnny said Evans that. Johnny Evans is brilliant. He's, um, he's, he's not the, the loud kind of joker, but he, he constructs his jokes very well. Right. You know, he'll tee one up and gladly let it sit there for a few <laughs> days and then... He's very clever with his jokes. Uh, I've got, a, you know, I, I don't want him to hear that, but um, <laughs> okay. but no, he, he is quite, he is very, very funny. He has me in stitches a lot on the bus. So there we go, Johnny yeah, Evans. Johnny Evans got to be biggest joke. Mark Albrighton, to be fair, ain't by himself. Sharky Kevin got yeah, to be Sharky. Well. Sharky, <laughs> Sharky Kevin. Okay. Next up, have you always played as a goalkeeper? No, no, I haven't. I played. I didn't start as a goalkeeper probably till I was like 14, 15, maybe. Really? No, I. I, I I was a striker, I wanted yeah. to play striker. I played slightly as a winger, but I were nowhere near quick enough for that. What were you like as a striker then, go on? Uh, I was probably an old school target man. Well, yeah. um, hold up, hold it up. Yeah, Bully no. defenders, that kind of player. Yeah, I think the heading was my game. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah, I was a decent finisher, but again, the m mobility of it, I don't think was, uh, I think was the issue. So, uh, 
So yeah, I think uh, I, it came to a point where I had to decide what 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 can I make it? Right. You know, what, how can I get to the highest level? What do I? Have, what am I most talented at? And okay. it, 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 wasn't, actually, it wasn't striker. It wasn't striker. There is actually interesting. I don't know if many people are aware of, but I seem to remember you had a goal that that you thought should have been given to you, but I think Chris Woods. Got given oh, it. it should have been given. If there was VAR, it would have been given to me. But yeah, uh, and you're but, still annoyed at this. You're still angry at this. Well, this how, many <laughs> how many times in a career does a goalkeeper get a chance to score a goal? You Fair know, and, and for a, a linesman not to not to look properly, or, or a referee not to use his eyes, then. <laughs> And have it taken off you. That may, that might be the only chance you ever get. So I can tell uh, it still, it still so upsets yeah, you. It, that, that's that will always be a frustration. Always be annoying because the, the TV replays are so clear. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it was. It's annoying that that the referee has to has to take it off you like that. Are we going to see you coming up for corners this season then again? I hope not. That only means that we're behind. Yeah, true. So true. Uh, so I hope not. But if uh, if need be, I'll try. Okay. A uh, similar type of question. This we're talking about goalkeeper playing outfield. This one says, if you got sent off for Leicester, well, hopefully you don't, of course, which Leicester outfield player would you choose to go in goal? Well, they all fancy themselves as Do goalkeepers, they? don't they? But as soon as you get in there, you can see how, how awkward it looks. Yeah. I just wonder if any of them have got a bit in training, any of them going in sticks in training or anything like that, and you think, oh, he's got a bit. I think technically probably the best is, is probably Mark Albrighton, but he's you know he's way too small to be a keeper. Right. So uh, I'd say Vard's has probably Vard's probably got got a bit in goal. Yeah. So I'd, I'd probably say Vard. God, I think people would love to see that, wouldn't they? Vardy ten minutes. In I goal. Wouldn't. It'd be entertaining, wouldn't. wouldn't it? <laughs> it would be, but I, wouldn't want I don't want to see it. <laughs> Not for your team, okay. Next up, who does Casper think is the best goalkeeper in the world right now? I would say Manuel Neuer, uh, along with uh, Gigi Donnarumma. Yeah. I'd say Neuer is probably the best, the most complete keeper, and I'll, I'll say he edges it on the fact that he's been doing it for 15 years. Right. Um, and he's been the best in the world for. Apart from the, the year he was injured, he's been the best nearly every single every single year. So, uh, for me, the most complete goalkeeper in the world, um, won everything there is to win, uh, done everything, uh, and and just for what he gives to his team, what he gives to his country, yeah, I'd, I'd have to say uh, for me it's Neuer. And you mentioned Donnarumma there. Do you think he can get? You said sort of not quite the complete as Neuer, but up there. Do you think he can oh, get he to is. Neuer's he, he level? He is, but I, I'll say Neuer edges. I mean, he's. Donnarumma's played what, 300 Serie A games already, but yeah. but I just for just for the fact of yeah, obviously they, they won the Euros, which is a great start, but yeah. but Neuer has has done it for so many years and uh, and keeps doing it, and you know for, it, it's one thing reaching that level, it's it's a complete another thing maintaining that level. You know the easy bit is getting there, the, the hard bit is staying there, and and to be to have the longevity he's had, and to be able to maintain the 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 level that he has for so many years is, is unique. Okay, Neuer takes it. Next one, bit of a bit of a random one. This. Would you rather have Soyuncu's haircut or Chowdhury's haircut? Soyuncu's. Straight. Can you answer that quick? Yeah, Soyuncu's. I, I like <laughs> his hair. Quick I answer. like his hair. I, he was in a bit of a middle stage when he came. I couldn't quite work it out, but now right. it wouldn't suit me. Definitely, it wouldn't suit me. But I think it's it, it suits Cags. Uh, <laughs> I'd love to see yeah. with that haircut. <laughs> well, under lo lo lockdown, I did have I did have, but I had to shave it off because it just didn't look right. Next up, who is your footballing idol growing up? Eric Cantona. Okay. Yeah, just the, just the aura about him. Um, again, for me, it, it's what a player brings to a team. Yeah. You know, and, and he came in and, and elevated Man United to, to, a great to the next to level. It was just know? the presence that he had was just incredible. He was, wasn't it? He was amazing, and again, the, the the technical abilities and all that kind of thing. But but the way he made everything, everyone around him, everything better. You know, I think he was uh, he, he was inspiring as a youngster. Um, yeah. You know, and someone I thought was, yeah, I, I thought he was cool as well. I loved it, the way he had his the colour up. He was yeah. just, a, he was just unique. You yeah. know, there was no one like him in the Premier League at the time. He was, uh, yeah, he was one of those, uh, those first people who just stood out. Yeah, you must have met him as well through your dad. What's, what's yeah. he like? I've never met Eric Cantona. Talk to um, me about meeting, being in a room as a young lad with Eric Cantona. Again, I, I was, I was just a kid, uh, yeah. but yeah, again, he's a, oh, obviously I was little, but he was yeah. a big guy. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Seemed like a big guy. I think yeah. I know he is a big guy, but uh, yeah, he just, like, he just had a presence about him, just had an aura about yeah. him, and you know the fact he didn't really speak a lot. He, he was very quiet, and he had that deep voice when he did speak. You know, yeah. you're kind of in awe of the guy. Yeah. Did you ever come around for a kick around? I imagine that's um, amazing. Schmeichel, yeah, Schmeichel we, and we, Cantona we would, in the garden. Wow. We would have had some uh, with Steve Bruce and, and Alex's son as well. And, there was there was instances when uh, wow. when they'd won titles and stuff like that, and there was kick arounds in the garden. So those kick arounds: Casper Schmeichel, Peter Schmeichel, <laughs> Alex Bruce, Steve Bruce, Eric Cantona. There'd have been loads. I think Thomas Ince was there as well, and wow. yeah, there'd, there'd have been loads. But no, Eric, Eric was was something unique, that's for sure. Okay, 
Uh, next up, what does Casper like to do in his spare time? Spare time? What's that? <laughs> Don't um, ever like to do that. No, um, well, I've got three kids, so I spend. <laughs> that, that takes a lot of the time. Yeah. But no, I mean, we, th th to be honest, spare time isn't something that's, that there's an abundance of at the moment. Um, when I am, well, when I do have spare time, I'm, uh, I'm with the kids, with the family, homework, and yeah. all that kind of. A all little that birdie kind of stuff. tells me that you're learning the guitar. Is that right? Yeah, you... yeah. I've started during lockdown and okay. enjoy that. I, lo I love my, my big passion is, is cooking. Is it? I love cooking. Okay. Uh, I love. Um, you know, we, we have a chef with Denmark who uh, who is like one of Denmark's best chefs, and you know, oh, wow. during the Euros, I stand there and watch, see what he does and I how he does it. It's it's an art form the way yeah, he does, yeah. you know, the way he cooks and the time it takes and all that kind of stuff. So, uh, so I enjoy doing that. That's a, a nice way to unwind. But again, it's not it's not as if there's there's loads of time to stand there and uh, and do all that kind of thing. Fair point. What is your signature dish then? Fucking around yours. What, what would you rustle up? <sighs> Whatever you want. Anything. Whatever you want. Yeah. Roast dinner? Pick a roast no, dinner? I'm, you're English, I'm not English. <laughs> like, uh, no roast dinner. No roast dinner? No, 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 because you can't cook it, we don't like it. English cuisine is something I'm not really too keen on. I don't, oh, really? Really, I don't spend too much time on it. I think Italian cuisine and yeah, that. And, and nice. that, I love Italian food yeah, and, and, uh, and Spanish food, that kind of thing. Okay, and guitar? What, what, what level are you at? With the, talk I'd me through what I'm level you're at. Beginner? I'm still a beginner. Um, yeah. Can you play Wonderwall yet? I feel like that is yeah, a tune. That's yeah, that's obviously the first, the first one you learn. Isn't it? No, I mean, I can play okay. Okay. I can play okay. I can. You know, give me a song, and you know I can I can find the chords when I've got a, I I can <laughs> you can find the chords I can find the chords and I can reasonably reasonably okay. play. Next one, we had a lot of questions about this. Do you have many ooh Danish friends? Now this is you know what industry we're talking about, don't you? Well, I do, and and I'd like to clear this up once on. and for all. So if Sky would rewind the cameras a bit, okay, so 15 seconds before when I said ooh English friends to him and Ryan Bertrand. Well, so hang on a minute, hang so on a minute. So I said it first, what? and then obviously when I went and said hello to Pierre, yeah. he, he did it, but obviously the camera's on there. Oh, Jamie Vardy, he's, no. hilarious. he's hilarious, him, isn't he? Oh, he's <laughs> such a joker, him, isn't he? <laughs> such a joker, that Jamie Vardy, isn't he? Wow, this is an yeah. exclusive. The clip that we've seen has had millions of views. Yeah. It is, is Jamie saying, ooh, Danish friends, yeah. to you and Pierre, and then you saying, no, ooh, no. English friends. I but said English friends beforehand. Before the, oh, the yeah. cameras were rolling, you said, ooh, I English said friends. I said in the tunnel when he was saying hello to all the English wow. players. Wow, so this is an exclusive. No so one, that's why no he one's said it, because he doesn't have the imagination to do that. <laughs> so how did you react when you saw that clip go viral? Uh, no, and it know, looks like you're copying It's typical, it's typical. <laughs> It's typical English, the English media, they'll back their players, you know. If that was in Denmark, <laughs> it would be the other way around. <laughs> it would be the other way around. But. And what would you like to say to Jamie Vardy then, for that moment? Because he's Nothing. taken all the glory for that. Yeah, but I think as long as I know, then... Uh, as long as you know. As long as he knows as well. Everyone knows. Are you a fan of the Inbetweeners then? Oh, I love the Inbetweeners. That, that was why, that's why it came about. <laughs> Absolutely love the Inbetweeners. I think it's hilarious. Jamie likes it as well. I read somewhere that Jamie's thinking of getting the car. The, the car from the between is that, is that true or is that is that fake news? Again, I think I think that's uh, that's the the English media loving their their <laughs> wild cards. Okay, uh, final question: Have you ever thought about going into management when you retire? To be honest, I haven't thought too much about retiring. Uh, Still hopefully, got a, I've got a long left. time left. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, it, it wouldn't it wouldn't be out of the question. Um, whether it's football management or business management or some kind of management within football, um, some kind of director's role or something like that, I think would, would suit me well. But I think it's one of them, when, when the time comes to retire, then, uh, then I'll kind of look at that. But for now, I think it's about enjoying every moment. It's a short career, so uh, the day you finish, you, you're never going to be able to get that back. So I'm not going to... I'm not going to start thinking of, of what's next. I'm just uh, just loving playing at the moment. Perfect note to end it. Many years ahead of you, Casper. Thanks for your sure, time, mate. mate. Really enjoyed Thank that. Thank you very much. Good luck for the season. Cheers, dude.